in to our progressive um, opportunities conference. Um, I'm Terry Fury from East State Express. I'm the sales and marketing director. Um, the first session this morning is New Community build, Building Tech in, in, in Innovation presented by Local On. Um, your panelists are, uh, <laughs> mess up some names, uh, Shabana Imran and uh, David Tulupov, right? Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Darling Great. Drapkin. Drapkin uh, from, is the executive director, Urban Transformation and Temescal Telegraph uh, Business uh, District. Improvement District. Improvement District. And Sherry Godinez. Good enough? <laughs> okay, she's the executive director <laughs> of Koreatown North Gate Community Benefits District. Um, so starting off, I think, this morning are David and, and Shabani. Go. Cool. Hi, everybody. We're really happy to be here. Thank you for coming. And uh, we're going to start with a short introduction of uh, people from Local On. And uh, we also wanted to ask who is, the, who is in the audience, just to get a little better understanding. So if you can like uh, raise the hands when we ask a question, that'd be really helpful. Like, are there people here from uh, nonprofit organizations? Is anybody a business owner? Uh, OK. Um, so are the rest of you guys just concerned progressive citizens? Is that? Uh, okay, great. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. So uh, this is Shubano. She is my uh, uh, business partner now, I guess. Uh, we both uh, graduated from Boston College. Uh, and uh, at Boston College, we won a competition, a uh, venture competition. And uh, uh, that's how Local On started. Uh, Shubana graduated with a degree in computer science, uh, and she also worked at uh, Rackspace, one of the largest uh, hosting companies in the world, and she was the only female software developer in the company. And uh, she also participated at MIT Media Lab research during her time at Boston College. And this is David, and he graduated from uh, BC a couple of years ago in computer science, economics, and French. And then before actually coming to BC, he, was a, he worked in the industry as a software developer for five years. So he worked at the Air Force, and he worked at a security company called M86 Security. So the point here is that both of us, we're really, really technical people, but we're not here to talk about us. We're actually here to talk about two very non-technical people, our parents. As you can see, my dad wouldn't touch a computer with a 10-foot pole. So our, our parents both are uh, small business owners. Uh, my dad is a masseuse. Uh, Shibana's mom is, a, is an owner of a small restaurant in uh, Boston. And uh, both of them are facing uh, tremendous difficulties uh, marketing themselves online or like, you know, just spreading the word about what they do because usually they're more concerned about their clients. My dad is more concerned about massages than uh, about like, oh, how do I go on the internet and how do I market myself? He doesn't know where even to start from and how to do that. You know, there's all these technologies. It's super confusing. SEO, SEM, social media, mobile, blogging, Facebook, Twitter, Google Maps, Google products, Google Places, PPC, AdWords. All this stuff is just overhelping. I mean, there's just too much, and uh, and y you wouldn't even know where where to start from. So what we did is we came up with a really simple solution for uh, merchants, small business owners like our parents. And what it is is they log into our system, and it's three big buttons. It's make an announcement, create a coupon, promote an event. And we take that information and we go and we do everything on the internet for them. So, for example, if the cheese board pizza um, has a new menu item, they would go into the system and they would click on make an announcement. They'd fill out one simple form and they'd click on post. And when they do that, it automatically gets published on the neighborhood's website. And this website gets something like a thousand views every day. It automatically gets published on the, the Facebook of the neighborhood, the Twitter of the neighborhood. It also gets published on the homepage of the local newspaper's website, which in this case is the East Bay Express. And this page gets something like 30,000 views every day. And then we also publish it in other places, like the Indie Business Directory of the East Bay Express. And so the point here is that with just 
one simple form and clicking post, they were able to reach something like 40,000 local people. And it's not just any random person on Facebook or any random person on the internet. These are people who live near the business, who are looking for this information. And so it works really well. So you can see our solution is super simple. With one click of a button, uh, a merchant can reach uh, a huge local audience, people who really care about this sort of offerings and this sort of uh, services. And uh, so. <laughs> so, so that's great. Merchants can reach thousands of local consumers. Good, good for them. But why should anybody else care? Anybody who isn't. Uh, um, a merchant. So in order to understand why you should care, you really have to look at it from a high level. So if merchants get more customers coming to them because um, through, the, through the web, then they, there's more spending uh, happening locally, more of the money is being spent locally. And so what ends up happening is we're promoting the effort to shop local. And which has actually really, really positive impact on the local economy and local neighborhoods. For example, um, SF Loma, which is a merchant organization in San Francisco, conducted a study where they they discovered that if people changed, shifted their spending 10% from online to local, so for instance, something they were going to buy on the internet, they bought it from a locally owned merchant, that would create 1,300 new jobs in San Francisco and add $190 million to the economy. And this is money that goes to, um, to cleaner streets, it goes to education, it goes to emergency services, it goes to all these great things. And then another fact is that for every $100 you spend locally, $68 gets reinvested in the local economy. But if you go and you buy it from a chain like, say, Walmart, only 43 of that comes back to the local economy. So there's a lot of implications for, for shopping locally. Is anybody involved in any of these industries? Anybody here? Yeah? So you should be concerned about shopping local too because one of the things that local businesses do is they, um, they invest in other professional services like they're a target market for a lot of these people. And then lastly, um, local businesses are friendlier for the environment than big chains because they don't have, they don't waste fuel on transportation and so overall it's great to shop local. And then the last thing is local businesses add diversity. So nobody comes to Berkeley to go to McDonald's. That's not why anybody, that's not what Berkeley's known for. Nobody comes here for that. But people do come here to sample California cuisine like, um, like Chez Panisse or Bake Sale Betty. And so that's what the East Bay is kind of known for. And so that's a great example of how local businesses add to the diversity. Um, so there's a million and one reasons to shop local and you can, you can say that to somebody and you can convince them of it and they're going to believe you and it's great, but people still don't, um, there isn't some huge movement to shop local, people aren't really hearing about it and that's because the way we're used to uh, buying things is we go online and we look for it online and wherever you find it, we go. And so there's kind of a disconnect. If if we want to bring um, more money to local, that information has to be found online. So n now you can see that uh, the, the importance of, uh, of shopping local, but how do you really promote this information? That's, that's where we come in. And uh, we try to tie together all these players, uh, community organizations that are helping small merchants to promote themselves, merchants themselves, and uh, local media like uh, East Bay Express. Uh, who is one of our uh, main partners here in the area. And uh, we, we, we literally tied all this system together. Merchant post one update through Localon and we spread the word to all of our uh, partnering, uh, partnering organizations such as uh, community media, uh, community organizations or um, uh, media organizations. And this way we can reach thousands and thousands of uh, local consumers. So before it was like the merchants want to promote shopping local and the organizations want to promote shopping local and the media publishers want to promote shopping, shopping local but they didn't really have a, an infrastructure to connect to each other. So if you include technology and all that you get like one giant shop local rocket ship. And so there's a really great example of this. Um, 
we, David's wife was actually looking for something to do on Friday night, and she found this event that was happening in the East Bay, some, some art event, and she printed it out, and she was so excited to go there. And then she was telling us about it, and we realized it was actually one of our posts that were in our system, and she had no idea that that was it. And she had no idea, like, we asked her where she got it from, and she didn't even know. And that's the best part. People don't even know that they're starting to shop local, but they're going to do it just because merchants are posting. And so that, that's, a, that's great. So uh, some of the premium features that we offer to our, to our merchants in order to stay sustainable is uh, easy to update websites and our websites are really integrating all these uh, merchant tools, uh, helping them to stay uh, updated and to promote uh, their offerings and the, and the appointment systems. And both of these things are really geared toward retaining uh, customers, like our appointment system is not just an appointment system, it's really a way to keep uh, recurring customers customers coming into your doors. We're sending reminders, like if it's a hair salon, for instance, like if someone is not showing up for, for months uh, for a haircut, we can send off a reminder, like, oh, look, maybe you want to come for, for a haircut. So we really offer uh, a few services for, for merchants that uh, one of them is marketing tools, and the other ones are like add-on features that really help them to keep their existing customers and to promote uh, their offerings. And the difference between that kind of website and any regular kind of website is this website is integrated with all those hyper-local tools. So anytime you post something, it's on your website, and the website is linked to the local newspaper's website, and so everybody's kind of meshed together. Uh, so we work with a bunch of organizations uh, in the East Bay and in San Francisco, and these are some of them. And um, so that piece with the community organizations helping spread the word, that involves uh, merchant associations and business improvement districts. And two of the districts we work with are the Koreatown Northgate District and the Temescal District. And so we have Sherry and Darlene who are going to talk about their experiences working in the districts, what it's like, and um, their experience with us. Hi everyone, um, I'm Darlene um, and I think I want to approach how important having a tool like Local On is that I, I recognized in managing the Temescal Business Improvement District, which I know people want to shop local and we have a lot of local businesses, but it was how to consolidate those efforts and make it more difficult to reach out and have people want to shop the Temescal um, and emphasize that local component. So what we ended up doing was that I realized that my, my website, I kept on hearing, oh, it's too static and you need to shift over to some kind of content management system all of these buzzwords that I really didn't know what the heck they were. I just knew that my that my website wasn't really appealing to be able to do all of this using all of these hyper tools. And every time I get hyper just thinking about it because I knew I had to use all these tools and all the social, social media and Facebook and Twitter and I wasn't really born in the generation that really um, automatically just does this in, instinctively. So it was quite exciting um, because I had already gone through two different web designers that were telling me that they were going to give me a, word, a content management system that was going to make it super easy for me to use, but when I went on WordPress, I realized it wasn't that easy, and so it was still easier to send the information over to my web designer and have her edit and put in all of the stuff because it's just not, you know, I'm, I'm busy ma managing the, the district and trying to get my businesses to be successful, so having to update the website is, is, was really difficult. So it was great when, after going through two different web designers and trying to figure out how to make a, a, a website that would repost, because another thing is I was actually hiring a journalist to come in and write stories to put on the website. I was also hiring somebody to help me put the stuff, um, to send it over to Facebook and to Twitter and get it out, reposting it to all of the different uh, uh, tools that are out there, social media tools. So it was great to finally discover that I could just uh, have the website um, um, do you have samples of it or how does that work? Um, it's being able to have the website now be easy and it, it's now uh, is on the, I found the solution by being able to put it on the website directly and my merchants now can create websites at an affordable price and it's reposting automatically so I don't I can now re, uh, enter a lot of the edits myself on the website um, because it, 
it, with, and still the amount of time that I was doing previously. Because previously, I was having to, to create all of the edits and send it over to the web designer to put them. Now, automatically, I'm able to enter them in directly myself and also the merchants. And the merchants are quite excited because they only have to do it one time of entering it into the uh, in, going and signing on to local on. And then they create an announcement or a coupon or uh, a, an event. And that way, it's reposting itself. So I've saved a whole bunch of uh, steps, and I almost understand it now. <laughs> and I almost get how this whole thing works. At least maybe I don't have to understand it, <laughs> because now basically it's been made a lot easier. And the great thing is that we now have almost you know about a thousand users on Facebook too, because by also being able to 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 make it, e people are getting more excited. The, sh the consumer to go on our website and look for specials. We still have a few challenges because I still have to get a lot more of the restaurants to be able to take time off from running their businesses and all of you who, who are here are a lot of small businesses. I mean, who's got the time really? So the key is now trying to educate our, our shoppers as well as our consumers to go on and recognize that if they want to find out local solutions, they can just go on, on, go on the website and automatically find what the specials of the day are, find out what's going on in the district. So, but, but it's just been made a whole lot easier. And the next step is we're creating the QR code so that automatically we'll put decals in all of the merchant windows and then it will automatically direct them to the website and they'll be able to find all the specials. But a lot of our merchants before weren't had, that hadn't created websites yet have now found it that it's easier and I found a platform that solidifies all of the merchants together so that they can all together kind of have this one simple system that will make it easier for them to go on and create a website and be able to have all of these tools that they don't have to spend a lot of time reposting. It'll just go through in one simple, it's a one step. So it's quite exciting. Thank you. Good morning. Um, my name is Sherry Godinez, and um, I'm also a district manager in Oakland, as like Darlene. So I'm, gonna, I'm coming from a little different perspective. Um, I'll give you a brief background. I used to be a small business owner for 15 years in Oakland um, at a children's resale store called Making Ends Meet. That led me into becoming president of our merchant association in the neighborhood. And the first thing I realized is um, the district needed help marketing itself. And so I created a paper directory. This was before internet was real big. Um, and I worked to create a website for the, for the district. This also led me to get involved with an, a nonprofit organization called the Oakland Merchants Leadership Forum. And they had a shop local campaign called Shop Oakland. Um, eventually, I ended up going to work for them as their program manager. And one of the jobs that I had was surveying the commercial districts in Oakland. I don't know if you're aware, but there's about 58 retail commercial nodes in Oakland. And one of the survey questions that I asked the districts was what type of technical assistance that the city could provide to strengthen your district. And the number one um, answer that came back was marketing. So marketing is always something that's on the mind of the small business owner. <clears throat> so as, as a small business owner myself, um, Back in 1994, it was very expensive to hire someone to create a website for you. It was anywhere from $3,000 to $10,000. Um, and then to hire someone to constantly change the website. So that was my perspective as a small business owner. Um, okay, so then... Um, as work, working with the Oakland Merchant Leadership Forum, we kind of morphed Shop Oakland into a new shop local campaign called Oakland Grown. Has anyone in here heard of Oakland Grown? Yay! <laughs> so that campaign started maybe in 2008, and um, it's now um, going pretty strong. They just created, I think they're here today, they created a shop local gift card. I'm excited about that. But now I'm working as executive director for uh, the Koreatown Northgate, soon to be called Kono District. And I went to a workshop and I met David and Shibano. And I fell in love with their creation because it was such a simple platform. It's affordable. It can be easily updated. It's user friendly. It gives small business the marketing power and the web presence. Um, so 
the small business owner, even if they don't have time to, um, to, to work on their own website, they can still participate by just getting a code because they've created the website for our district. So my merchants in my district can just get a code and as Darlene talked about, post themselves on here, which feeds into Facebook, feeds into Twitter, and basically puts them out there for thousands of people to see with just a couple clicks like they talked about. So um, I think it's a very unique and practical feature. And um, the other thing it does for me, as a, for my website, is when my merchants are posting on the website, it increases um, our uh, search engine optimization because it keeps the website more live. And um, so I just love the fact also that I have control over my website. I can redesign it myself. I used, when I worked for the Oakland Merchant Leadership Forum, we worked on the, um, the other kind of platform, the, like a blog site. WordPress, WordPress thank you. <laughs> um, which I could do, but I find this so much more adaptable. I can add slideshows, I can just move stuff around, so I can totally redesign the website myself without having any web knowledge whatsoever. And I love the fact that my merchants can promote themselves for free, no cost to them. I just give them the, the access to the site. That's it. Thank you. So one last thing I want to show you guys. This, um, this is the business directory right now um, on the East Bay Express's website. So um, if you ever get a chance and go to eastbayexpress.com, on the left side, there's a scrolling feed of updates from all the merchants in Oakland, and it links you to the East Bay Express Indie Business Directory, which actually has some a listing of something like 4,000 merchants now, right? So it'll pretty soon it'll be the largest online local indie business directory, and it's not just any kind of directory. Like it has the updates from all the merchants coming in at the bottom, and pretty soon we're gonna add. Um, we're going to add merchants inventory to it, so if any small business owner wants to put all the menu items or, or some retail that they offer, they can do that. And then they can put in more information like if they offer free Wi-Fi. And so all this comes down to a really, really great thing for consumers. So say if it's, um, if it's midnight and I want to go to a cafe that has internet, I would type in internet cafe that's open right now and we would have that information so we can give it to the consumer and so it makes it makes all these local merchants a lot more accessible and it's really exciting because the East Bay Express will be will be the first one ever to have that. Is there something that I missed? Um, I think we can finish with one, one little uh, case we just heard uh, a few days ago one of the merchants from Temescal actually called us and she's uh, uh, she she offers like uh, uh, plumbing services and things like that. Something that uh, you would never expect to get uh, customers very easily. And she called and she's like, I just posted and I got two clients immediately. You know, she posted on the on the East Bay Express and and for us it's uh, it's really really makes us happy to see this, this sort of things happening, that we can actually bring business to these uh, small small uh, uh, merchants and uh, service providers, because for them it's so difficult to, to spread the word out there. And we, it, it, that, that's what really makes us happy and uh, passionate about what we do. So if you have questions, we'd be happy to hear. Oh yeah, it was SF Loma, and you can actually go to sfloma.org, and they have they have all the details there. Yeah, San Francisco locally owned Merchants Alliance. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So that was about the study that we cited, where if 10% more people shop from online to local, it would um, add a bunch of revenue to the economy. And that study was uh, commissioned by a merchant organization in San Francisco called SF Loma, the San Francisco Locally Owned Merchants Alliance. Yeah? So for the people in here that, are, that own small businesses and want to get involved with this, how do we, what's the next step if we want to do business with the years? Or how do we go about doing that? 
So there's a bunch of ways. Um, if we're work question. Oh, sorry. So he was asking, if you're a small business owner, how would you want to um, get in touch with us about our services? Is that? If you wanted to get involved or um, I guess take a part of this service, oh, okay. what's the next step? What's the first step? So first we would try to figure out what um, district in Oakland or, or San Francisco you belong in and then see if you're a member of any of the organizations that are already participating. Where are you from? Uh, from Oakland. Uh -huh. Which district oh. are you in? Uh, I'm in the, I guess, North Oakland uh, district. Are you a member, you a member of Oakland Grown or the Sustainable Business Alliance or? Um, it's not for me personally, but just for oh, okay. people in the room. Uh, I think our community is the Golden Gate, uh, I think it's Golden Gate yeah. Association. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, it really depends on if, if you're if anybody here is a member of Oakland Grown, you're already you already have this service. You kind of just need to get the information from Oakland Grown to log in and use it. And so I think we're working with the Golden Gate District too. And so you're kind of already in the system. You just have to log in. It's it's sort of like a member benefit. You want to see your contact? Do we have people here from oh, Berkeley yeah. as well? Because I know Ber Berkeley's trying to use this service as well. Right? Yeah, the North Shattuck Association and by local Berkeley. Sure. Sure. Oh, okay. So um, you could just contact us. It's localon.com. But what it would be is you'd uh, you'd kind of have a um, access to post to the East Bay Express because the way it works is there's many different channels. And so if you're a member of an organization, it's really great because you can post to their website, their Facebook, their marketing channels. Um, but if you're not really associated with anything, you can still take part in in the East Bay Express stuff. What's, what's the next question? I have a, this is a technical question. Everyone kept talking about WordPress, but what is this new miracle platform you're using that's so much better? So, so what, what we really offer is two types of services. One is the marketing services, and the other one is uh, this really easy to use uh, website uh, platform. And we gear this platform toward organizations and small businesses. So our platform is very visual, just made out of blocks that you can literally just drag and drop and put it wherever you want on your, uh, for, for yourself. And uh, for organizations, we already offer all these tools that uh, they would otherwise need to embed somehow in a, in, in weird ways. So whenever we offer this uh, local happenings widget, for instance, so whenever merchants are posting something, it goes immediately to the website of the organization. And um, we can actually show you how, how, how that works. Um, this, is, this, is, uh, this is a website. The resolution is a bit weird, but... So, for example, this is a website of a salon. Um, for example, it's a website of a salon, and let's say they change their hours. And so usually what happens is when they get a website, they put uh, a piece of information on there, and now they have to get a programmer to go and change the one tiny little thing they want to change on their website. So what WordPress says is you can go in and change it yourself, but most merchants or most, most people in general actually find that really hard to do. And so what we made is a website editing tool that looks exactly like the website, except now everything's editable. So you go to what you want to change, and you click on edit, and it turns into just like Word, so I can change my hours to 11 AM. And so that's the difference. WordPress is a little more involved. You can see also everything is made out of blocks, and unlike WordPress, you can just drag and put it like wherever you want your blocks. Uh, it's very, very simple and user friendly. And organizations, really, what they're facing, uh, the, the problems. One is how to pro how to promote their merchants. This is like one of the main problems. Two is uh, how to keep everything together. Like uh, for Oakland Grown, they have huge membership base, and they have to uh, constantly keep track of what is posted on their Facebook and what is posted on their Twitter, and uh, they have to 
repost things and spend spend time on that and then they also have to have like some sort of membership management system and they have to have some sort of emailing system so for, for, for organizations it becomes a huge burden to really stay up to date and and uh, you know combine all of the systems what we do we offer tools for these organizations that offer uh, that, that give them a way to promote their merchants in a very very simple way so they they, they, they now can promote every single uh, business in their district district or in their organization just by allowing them posting to their website and posting to their Facebook and posting to their Twitter and through them posting on the news uh, uh, to the East Bay Express. Uh, so uh, it, it, it is really a great tool for organizations because it saves them so much time and uh, so much burden dealing with, uh, with a lot of things which saves them time and then they can give a more quality service to their merchants. And for merchants it's really great because it's, uh, it's super simple, just three buttons you click, you put whatever you want and your, your, your word is spread to thousands of locals. I wanted to add one more thing though, it's from the perspective also of not just the merchant, actually as a shopper. I think we're all here at this conference because we all want to be more conscientious about being able to shop local and find things and I think what this will do is that it also make it easier for the shopper to be able to go directly to, uh, to uh, Google Temescal or North Shattuck or whatever district and be able to go directly to the website and find out what deals are there because you all want to support your local businesses but you sometimes figure out what's the best easiest way for me to be able to support those local businesses and I think that this tool will help you to be able to automatically find like they were saying that David's wife actually didn't realize when she Googled she actually automatically did get something from local on so we think that, that this is really helping out to help the shopper who wants to be conscientious and, sh and shop local to be able to, 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 to uh, reach that endeavor. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. So the, the question is, if, if you already have a website, can you use our tools to promote yourself and to integrate into your website whatever we're already offering? Yes, there is a way for integration. We have, uh, uh, we actually, for, for instance, for Oakland Grown, we're not offering the entire website. We only offer tools for integration. And so there's like a uh, business directory and there is uh, uh, all these offerings. And for the merchant, merchants don't really need to have a website with us in order to promote themselves online. Do you mean, um, oh, to use the tools for posting and publishing things to all the different places, you don't need a website. But it, do you mean you want to make your current website editable through our tools? Oh, so. you have this here. Yep. Oh, no, this is their, this will be their website. We're actually, we revamped their current website. So let me, let me see what it is. Oh, boy. I guess I'm just asking, if you have an extensive website already in existence, how can you work with you? Oh. Okay, so it actually, it takes us um, less than two days to make the website, and we just poured over all the info from the old website and do a little bit of a redesign. And it's a lot, a lot faster than, than um, a regular web designer, which is going to take a couple of weeks to build the website, do all these other things, because we, this tool that we built is kind of a tool that builds websites by itself. So, in a way, and so it's a lot, the, the turnaround is a lot faster for us. It's like two so, days. So, Siobhan, I, th I think the question, because I'm not sure if it's being answered, is that they already have a website, but they want to be able to use the reposting tools, just strictly oh. the reposting. Is that Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. you do, that, the website and the posting tools are completely separate from each other. Yeah. So, could they incorporate the reposting tools, even if they already have an extensive website? Is yeah, you could even or incorporate a feed of all of your posts onto your website. So there's there's countless possibilities. It's very flexible. I don't know. I, I, sorry, I think she was waiting earlier. Okay.
Oh, so that's an interesting question. So really, really interesting thing is what we found is neighborhoods and cities, they're kind of organized in the same way. There's usually a bunch of districts, a bunch of merchant organizations, a lot of merchants, and then there's a local media publisher that's in the area. So for example, where someone from Southern California in Escondido found out about us, and so we were just gonna make a website for the association there, but they're actually associated with two of the local newspapers, so they're putting us in touch with the local newspapers, and then they're doing outreach to their merchants. So it just seems to like organically fall into place like that in, in cities. And did you then design their, their Facebook pages and their Twitter business? Oh, so, so we gave them a website, which was pretty quick turnaround. And then they already had an existing Facebook and Twitter page. But the way the Facebook and Twitter works is nobody has to go there and update it. So for example, um, if we go to the Temescal Facebook, the merchant's post automatically get posted to Facebook. So um, this little icon here, this little orange icon, oh, you can't see it. This little orange icon, that means that it's posted through Localon. So this page looks really active, but all the posts are coming from, from Localon. So nobody's updating this page, but it's kind of taking care of itself because this is one of the places that get the reposting. And then I'll just say, um, as a consumer, like I friended Temescal, um, then those posts show up on my personal Facebook page, so. Yeah? And so if I already have... Oh, oh sorry, sorry. What, what, what was your question? Sorry. And have that password what? Yeah, definitely. Everything is kept very securely. Uh, we're using 128-bit uh, uh, protection SSL, and uh, your password is never exposed anywhere and never saved in plain text. So I, I, my, I personally worked in a security company. So uh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Sorry. So what? So if, if I'm a business owner and I already have a website, if I want something that's easier, for example, we, I have a WordPress for my business. Um, if I wanted something to, uh, if I wanted to do business with you guys, would that be a new domain, or how would that work? So if you already have a website, first of all, you don't need a website with us in order to take advantage of marketing tools. But if you do want to have a website with us that's much easier to edit and you can actually do things, which, because many people say they have uh, WordPress and they are able to edit their own website, but it turns out that they cannot. It's, the, the interface is very difficult. So we can uh, transfer your the same domain uh, absolutely transpar uh, transparently like uh, no no one is going to ever see that uh, it, it, the, the response is coming back from our servers so the same domain you had you can keep it, it just uh, comes from our servers so for instance it says um, .org, and that's still on our servers so it looks like they kept their domain so yeah So, so I'll, I'll start with the second question, how to prevent spamming. Uh, this is a good question. We, we actually offer a curation system for organizations. Uh, so every post that comes, uh, organization get, uh, can decide to get an email and curate whether they, they approve the, this, this sort of post, whether it goes to, which, which channels they approve this post to go to. Like it can go to their Facebook, but, but not to go to their front page. So there is a level of curation on, 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 on the organization level and then once it comes to the newspaper it's even better because it already has been curated by all the organizations and all the posts on the newspapers have been already curated and it makes the, their lives even easier so there is uh, definitely a, a level of filtering uh, allowing only the very good quality content and uh, the website costs $30 a month uh, with us the service yeah um. Done any outreach to uh, Contra Costa County, especially West County? Uh, it looks to me like it's pretty much Al Alameda County centric. 
Yeah, we, we, we just started uh, about like uh, six months ago here. Uh, we're a very, very young company and uh, so far people have been reaching out to us because we have had a lot of uh, excited responses and people want to get involved and get this sort of tools to their merchants. So right now we have uh, a pipeline of people who want to work with us, so we haven't been doing any sort of outreach ourselves at this point. Oh, so that that's completely free. And um, if you're with an organization, it's even better because you, there'll be extra places where you can post. And so, for for any independent business, it's completely free. Yeah, and they're fa um, so he was just saying um, if if he's a no, it doesn't. You ha right. You have to become a member of a certain organization to use their marketing channels. But there's there's a basic that everybody can take part in. Like there are some organizations that will let any independent business post, and one of those is the East Bay Express Business Directory page. And, and I just wanted to add, if you're part of a few organizations, an example that we showed it was just for a merchant who is part of one organization, which reaches out to 40,000 people. If you're part of a few organizations, then your exposure is even bigger. And we have a few merchants that are part of Oakland Grown and by local Berkeley, and at the same time, they're uh, part of the district. So you can imagine what sort of exposure they're getting. Yeah. What's the question? Yes. Yeah, it's on localon.com, and if you guys want, we'll have business cards here, and you could just grab those too. Any other questions? Okay. Well. okay. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming to our first panel this morning. Um, if you have any further questions, you want to speak with them.